The World Economic Forum meeting is coming to a close. What have been the key takeaways with me, Mr. Bharat Doshi of M&M, sir? Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, you've been here for the last few days trying to get a sense of where the world economy is moving. Your thoughts on whether there is some optimism going forward? Well, it's very interesting that the first day when you discussed with anybody, particularly from Europe, there was a gloom and doom situation. And you started wondering as to what economic implications are there in 2012 with that kind of gloom at world leaders' level. And yet, by the time the conference is ending, I mean, definitely people are talking of some optimism, partly because they see that there are ways and means whereby the problems can be stalled, if not solved, completely. I mean, this is one of the major change which I noticed in just a five-day period. What's also interesting, I thought that I will, before you ask me the next question, is that uh, any time anybody talks about where the growth would be, mm -hmm. immediately China, India, Indonesia, immediately they come up because 7% growth is considered commendable in this particular environment. Clearly India and China, the flavor of the season, Indonesia, as you were telling us, but what according to has led to this change of outlook in only a couple of days, perhaps uh, Angela Merkel's address instilling some confidence or at least the fact that, uh, that leaders in Europe are committed to moving over the crisis to finding some meaningful solutions. So again, very interesting that when you focus at a forum like this, where leaders from all over the world are there, and while the initial reflection of gloom and doom comes because whatever has been happening just in the few last few weeks as one sees it and the type of problems as to how Greece will be solved or not solved. If it is not solved, will it affect Italy? If it affects Italy, how much it affects everybody? On the other hand, that overall the world will still have a 3.3% growth. That if certain problems are solved, and it was very well defined this uh, morning, that it's not that anybody is immune. All of us are going to be affected. Even if India does a 7% growth, it is impacted because there is an interconnectedness in the global thing. It's not that there is a divide between the two worlds. We are all interconnected. The point is that how growth in one area will affect the growth in the other area. And that there can be a solution in terms of a correction first. So 2012 everybody writes off and then starts looking at 2013 for that optimism. What about uh, India's image on, on, on the global stage? We know that India was, of course, the darling uh, of Davos, as many would call it, uh, a few years ago. But given the sharp slowdown that we've seen in the last one year, given the fact that there are a number of concerns with regard to reforms not moving forward, do you think there is a concern among people here that uh, India's growth story is slowing down badly? Well, here I must underline that while everyone thinks that India has the future, the present situation in India, whether it be corruption, whether it be the policy paralysis as we have all been talking about, or the waiting game that let the UP elections be over and then something will change, it makes everybody wait. It, I uh, learned a very good phrase that there is an option price for waiting because right. you, have, you take a risk or not take a risk, but you can have the option that let's wait now and that's how the world is waiting. And yet I found many foreign institutional investors talking about that money is not going to be remaining invested at 1%. At certain point in time, if they have to invest, which are the countries where they are going to go and invest? And India definitely will be on the list. So my a little disappointment is that we, at this stage, are missing an opportunity because our act is not fully right. right. Uh, yesterday there was again a sort of disappointment that while everybody was talking positively about our India, some of the Indian panel members were talking very negatively about the corruption in the environment. And yes, we are all I mean, disturbed by the environment. On, on the other hand, instead of talking positively, there were certain reflections because we are better able to watch what's happening at our end. Absolutely. And that's and the that we know. Thank you so much, Mr. Bharat Doshi, for Thank joining you. us. Thank, Thank you. you. NDTV's Cricket App. Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com/apps.